Hello everybody, this is the Penalty Channel, and today I'm doing a review of Episode 6 of Loose Wars Season 3, and my thoughts and opinion about it, okay? Let's go on this journey together and, you know, discuss this stuff, okay? Well, basically, uh, it starts off with a detective, and her ex-husband, you know, her singing happy birthday, because, you know, it's her birthday like that. Well, then this, uh, big kid comes out, stripper pops out, stops doing his thing, popping on her, and, so, and then Luce was like, oh, this is a real party. And then the detective ex-husband was like, you always have to outdo me, don't you? And she's like, oh, it wasn't me. It turned out it was Lopez, like that. Um, she is the base of the doctor, I think, in the police force. She does the subscribers, see how things are. Well, um, they saw, she saw four dollars down. She's like, happy birthday, like that. You know, congratulations. And, like, Lucifer are having fun. They're all, you know, doing the thing. Lucifer gets a call. He goes in the office. And it turns out, remember season two? In the, after the freaking mid, uh, mid season finale, like that, like that, when he came back, well, Lucifer's ex wife, like they're still technically legally married, but they're almost done, like that, is basically um, dead. They found out she was dead, and, she, and they like, Well, have you saw her? Have you had contact her? You know? And they said, like, No, I haven't talked to her or seen her for a year. So, Mendez comes in. Well, Lopez, my fault, my the name, but I'm not good with names sometimes. Uh, comes in like this and cuts them. And she's like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry for your loss." And he's like, "Oh, I barely knew over two weeks. It's not a big deal." But um, I'm gonna go to Las Vegas and find out who, what happened to her and who her mother was. And like, she's like, "Oh, well, I would help you, but Vegas is not my thing. I, I don't do good there." She's like, "You know what? I'm gonna go with you." And then the detective comes in, and she and then like Lopez about to spill the beans on the detective like where they're going, and then uh. But he's like, Liz was like, no, no, it's okay, you know, don't, 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 don't tell her. Like, it's her birthday, it's a happy, it's a good birthday for her, hell, have fun. So it cuts off of, um, basically Lucifer and, uh, Lopez going to Las Vegas. This is Lopez and Dr. episode. And, like, they go down there, they go to this hotel, see this crime scene, and, like, Lucifer sees the dead body and realizes that's not his girl he was messing around with, like that. Because the foot, her foot was really huge. Like the, and the, the girl, the body found was real small. And then like, they see the main investigator come in like this. You just told me you were not in Las Vegas and you haven't had contact with her for a while. And she's like, this, um, we just got here literally like 10 hours ago. This body's been dead for like 24 hours, so it, can't, it couldn't be us. So like, here's my card, but like that, if you have any questions. So they go out. Lucifer has a flashback, you know, of how, the, how he first met the girl. Like this, she was like at the freaking um, hotel singing in the bar. You know, Lucifer was drunk as, you know, he just saw her, the detective almost die. This is the last season, like this, but you don't see the bar. Season. But um, he's getting drunk. He's emotional about that stuff. And then the girl came up, hugs him like this, sings him. You know how the singers do sometimes. Still his money, his rings. He smiles like, oh, that's a very clever girl. Okay. And then pay overpays the bartender. And then like. Sees the thinking, um, this mafia kind of guy, you know, basically abusing her and like yelling at her like this. And then uh, he shows up in the hotel, like that. But then it clips off to this pop. The detective looking for Lucifer, and uh, she goes to Lucifer's street, like that. He's counselor, basically. Um, she starts talking to her, and she's like, Lucifer's so selfish, you know, he never tells me how he feels, and like. You know, and she's doing their emotional back and she still has strong feelings for Lucifer. She still loves him like that. But, you know, she's just hurt by him. Because he won't express the love back. Like this. So, they talk about it. She's like, oh no, it's, like, it's my birthday. And Lucifer just dished out on me again. So, you know, I'm pretty sure Lucifer's at the house. They go back to the Lucifer's like, ha like a, a house like that. And, um, they're chilling there. They like they saw this like bar thing with a little bunch of liquor. And they like, you know what? This is a waste of time. I know he's not here, but let's let go to race. So they get drunk and have a mini mini party there, getting f having fun. And then uh, when they're drunk and fall around, they actually knock over the pitcher standing in Lucifer's room like that. And then they sh shows a safe. So for fun, they're trying to break in the safe and see what's in there, like that. So it cuts back. Um, Lucifer basically remembers. The one guy, like that, the mafia dude was, you know, trying to abuse his, like, the girl. He paid off the mafia, that what she that is. So he goes to her, his house. She's he, she's been whacked too, you know, head blew off, and then the 
Lopez realizes like there's no way he can shoot himself. The angle, the thing is, you know, because she's a fantastic, she's a like, this. So, um, yeah, like they're like, okay, maybe his wife because he shoots this painting of him and his wife and a bullet hole in his crotch area like that, you know. And it's like, hmm, maybe his wife did. So they call his wife up and play this little joke like that's like, like she won something and she's like, I never did that. I'm sorry. And she's like, nope. I hear a special machine like this for gambling, and I know this is only Vince McMahon, it is only one gambling place. So they go back to that gambling place, and they play blackjack to get, you know, get noticed like this, and they're winning constantly, and then they have security come out and grab them and put them in. Like, and you realize why uh, Lopez doesn't want to go to Las Vegas, because he's been basically um, scamming, thinking, um, gambling places, getting money, and she's been basically kicked out, you know, a lot of places. And she, and like, why if I call your uh, detective fence in Las Vegas, your new job? Well, why if I tell people your crimes about killing your husband? So I never killed the guy. And then Lucia loses mind trip, basically. Like, what is your desire? What did you do? She's like, I desire to basically mess with this one guy. It works. It's gambling all the time. He's, he's such a nice ass. So he realizes it's not her. So they get all the freaking uh, gambling place, and they bump into, guess who? Lucia's ex-wife, like that. And they're like, you're willing to everything. Like, this. I've been thinking, trying to find out who killed me. Like, and Lucia's like, this. it's not her. It's not him. Like this. You know, and you see fast pictures of, like, he has a flashback of him talking in the hotel, you know, like that, about his problems with the detective and the relationship. Because, you know, basically, the detective was putting his past in season two from his father, like that. But we get in that way, that's not the point. His issue was that, emotionally. Um... It cuts back to freaking um, the detective and like was for a shrink trying to break the thing like this and do the code like that, and then guess who up? Takes her ex-husband comes up with a tool like that and he breaks the thing and like makes a little cement. Couldn't get in. Uh, then he's like, oh, I have more stuff to fix that. It's okay. And then um, cuts off back to Lucifer talking to him, uh, talking to uh, her, the, his ex-wife and like the counselor. No, his ex-wife. My bad. And Lopez, the woman. Um, Lopez was good. She was like, mm, that's a fine Spanish girl. Mm, love Spanish women. Um, let's start the point. Uh, they're talking back and forth as well, what the plan is. And they're like, they're like, oh, Lucifer. Lucifer's like, oh, yeah. I'm still technically married to you, so I'm the next target if they want your your club, your your hotel, like that. Because I legally owned your hotel and your dad. I'm the winning winner. So he does a stakeout, basically. So it basically, he goes and, like, he was singing and like at this bar, at the bar, you know, like that, and doing his thing, and have all these women dance by him, and seeing who he's he scouting him out, who's like after him, like that now. And after that, all done over with, it turns out the bartender one has much debt, and he was trying to get the father to sell the thing to get money, you know, to pay off his debt. He's like, I wanted her to sell it, but she wouldn't do it. And then like he has a gun, he should at least lose his, you know. It, walking like it's nothing like that, like a Dragon Ball Z character, and like he's like, you can tell the truth like that, and then like they have three mirrors, and she's like, oh my god, what's going on? She's not, she's dead, and she's like, why did you kill me? Blah blah blah, and like thinking this was like, I'm the devil, and if you want not to do a hell, you should tell the truth and be saved. Well, he shoots all the mirrors except the last one, and Lopez shoots him in the leg. He falls down. He goes to jail. They give all credit to the investigator from the, like that, from Las Vegas. And uh, Lopez was, like, talking to the, the investigator, kind of flirting with him a little bit. And then thinking Lucifer has a moment with his ex-wife. She's she like, did you mess up thing with uh, that one girl? She's like, yeah, I think so, but I'm, not, I'm going to try to fix things like that. So he goes back to his place, finds the whole place wrecked, destroyed, and he's just laughing. I messed up a lot. And then um, when the detective was sleeping, like that, when she woke up, he was expressing how he feels about her and how the whole marriage thing was a fake basically before off, you know. And she's like, like, like yes. oh my god, he does care for me. And she's just acting like this. And then he opens the safe and they have a ma magical moment. And she, he's like, this, well, this is a necklace. And you see this little thing. I'm like, okay. It was a bullet when Lucy got shot one time. Because you know, the detective makes him weaker like that. And he's like, well, I haven't penetrated you yet and maybe never will. But I wanted you to remember the time you penetrated me and like this. And she's not laughing and they hug. And I have a feeling they're going to get together by the end of the season. So I give this episode six 
a solid a, 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 a it caressed the character, it made them grow as characters like that. It was entertaining, and, um, you know, it was a very emotional thing, because you see in the mindset of Lucifer and the detective and the relationship like that, you know, how they filled with each other, so, yeah. Well, um, tell me, uh, what do you think of the detective? Do you want to see Lucifer and the detective like they get together and hook up? Or would you, I was kind of hoping this is me, uh, Lucifer hooks up with, like, an, um, with that one Spanish chick, like that, the doctor. You know, Lopez. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe Lucifer might hook hit that a little bit. Like, That'd be pretty sweet. Um, you know, what do you think of the episode? And you have a great day. Oh yeah, subscribe to me, like, and you know, you know, help the channel if you subscribe and like. You know, and tell me your opinion on the episode. Peace out.